First half have met with Mayor is resolution repealing resolution 23 2 authorizing contracts for the state for reimbursement of cost of maintenance of state routes which pass over city streets and then a new resolution approving the new contract the state raised it for about ten thousand dollars or ten to eleven thousand dollars.
forward for all time. So it could be anything under R4. But am I totally opposed higher density on this property? No. Uh, if this board believes that increased density is appropriate, then I would submit it to be no higher than R3. Uh, this makes more sense as it is adjacent to other R3 property and is not such a substantial change in character that would impair the surrounding properties. Uh, there's another property in that area on the corner of JC Lane and Stroud Drive uh, that this board changed from C3 to R3 uh, last year. And if you've seen that when they were able to stack four pretty large houses on that little property, you know, I personally think it looks too cramped, but it complied with R3, so it's certainly okay. So I guess let me say I get it. Everyone wants to make as much money as possible. Be included, but uh, as I read ordinance, profit is not a criteria to change the zoning or the land use plan. Uh, even if it was, what makes one developer's profit more important than another developer's or other people in that same uh, in that same area? Um, if our new standard is going to be just buy whatever you want in the city and whatever zone, then that's for whatever zone or density will make you the most money. And it's just a free for all. Um, so. I think you have another similar item on the agenda tonight requesting a change to R4 as well, which received a negative recommendation from the planning commission. It wasn't unanimous, but it was, it was negative. So when someone buys property in the city that isn't zoned for what they want to do, they run the risk that the zoning might not be changed. Right? I mean, you understand if you uh, I understand people may not want to pay for a plan to present that the zoning isn't changed, but that's called speculation. You're, if you want that piece of property, you want to try to figure out what you can do with it and see if you can. But right now, it just seems like it's sort of wild west out there. We see a lot of zoning changes coming through the planning commission. Everybody's one time forward. It's, I think it's time to sort of hang that piece. So, because I close my remarks on this public hearing, I would point to use some language which comes from section 14203 of the municipal code, which outlines public policy purposes of the zoning portal. Uh, in addition to minimizing traffic hazards and congestions and preventing the overcrowding of land and other purposes that is to enhance the character and stability of residential areas and promoting the orderly and beneficial development of those areas. I don't think that changing the zoning from R2 to R4 through leapfrogging R3 enhances the character and stability of the residential area and it does not promote the orderly and beneficial development of such areas. So that said, I respect that support of the code on the request to change the land use plan um, and to rezone the property just to get ahead and say the same thing up there for that. Uh, to rezone the property from R2 to R4. I would say to my friend Don Ray would say don't put sign on it. Um, if you want to change the medium density R3 in accordance with the land use plan, I would have no opposition to that and you wouldn't have to change the land use plan because it already shows the medium density. So, that's I say, you know, if you have any questions, I'd like to answer them. Otherwise, I appreciate your time. So, I, I, I suppose anybody out there couldn't add anything to the no area. <laughs> Mark, that, uh, Mark, Mark said, anybody out there for the, the yes song? Thank you. I mean, unless you would add anything to that, unless, I mean, I think you pretty much covered that. And, and uh, I can say that, that as chairman of the the planning commi committee, Mark, you never, um, you never state your opinion. You only break a tie, and it certainly wouldn't be something with personal, personal interest. I agree. Okay, go ahead. Um, originally, I didn't come here to, to talk on this. I was just coming here as a review, and then <coughs> I was reading over the uh, are, are you, are you minutes. I'm for it. And so I actually have Don on the line. If he would like to say something, but I wanted your permission before I put him on speaker, if that was permissible. Yeah, the chair. Yeah, I, I feel. Okay. So. You're his mother, so. Yeah. <laughs> so Don, I have you on speaker. If you want to speak to the committee. Hold on one second. And also, I forgot to tell you. State your name. Oh, I'm sorry. And, and where you live. And I've got to tell. Okay. So my name is Helen Novellis. I do live here in the city. Uh, I am currently a county commissioner, but I've lost that seat. But I'm running for alderman. But that doesn't make any difference at this point in time. Um, so.
So, Donald, can you hear me? Hey, can you guys hear me? Uh, okay, go ahead. Hey, can you hear me? Yes. It's Donald Parker. It's my property. Um, obviously, I want to take it to an R4. Uh, we've already gone through the first review, and it's the second one here. Uh, obviously, I got a positive recommendation from planning and zoning to move it forward. Um, I'm here to answer any questions anyone might have. Do you have any houses you're going to build on? How many houses? Yep. Whatever our heart more will allow me, um, whoever that is asking the question there. Mark Messick. Mark, yeah. And whatever the R4 zoning will allow me, I've got to obviously build that up out of floodplain as well, just like Mark did across the street there, the property he owns. Um, I did go down and um, I talked to Brian down the sewer, and uh, looks like sewer and everything else can get up there. Of course, it's a two-lane road. Okay. 
but I, I can't speak for him as to whether or not I wasn't expecting to. Yes, I know, I know, I know. Right now, we're just going to court. Yeah, I know. I'm going to go no. And the only reason I'm going to vote no is I would support an R3 rather than an R4. Councilman Messick? Absolutely. Art Nichols? Yes. Councilman Messick? Yes. Councilman Messick? Yes. Yes. We'll move on to, it's not passed, but they get four votes required. Uh, move on to ordinances. <coughs> the, first, the first ordinance here, we did not have a quorum with Mayor. Uh, Vice Mayor Messick's conflict. The second one in light of the resolution of number six, uh, failing does not, uh, it cannot be passed. So we'll, we'll move down to <clears throat> letter C, second reading orders to abandon the city of Manchester's interest in any in an unaccepted alley plat as part of eight lots addition to the town of Manchester between West Taylor Street and West Coffee Street. Is your motion? I'll move. Do I hear a second? Second. Okay. It is moved and seconded. The motion is as presented. Are there any discussion on it? On the board? Call roll, please. Arden Patton? Aye. Arden Bellamy? Aye. Vice Mayor Messi? Aye. Arden Nichols? Aye. Second reading of ordinance submitting the budget ordinance for fiscal year 2021-2022, ordinance 619. I hear a motion. Did I hear a motion? I hear a second. It is moved and seconded. The motion is as presented. Is there any discussion on the, the motion? If not, Rick, I'll bring Alderman Patton? Aye. Alderman Bellamy? Aye. Ross Mayor Messick? Aye. Alderman Nichols? Aye. Okay, first reading order is being mentioned to use code relative to water rates. Do I hear a motion? So moved. Do I hear a second? Second. It is moved and seconded. The motion is it presented. Are there any discussion? Is there any discussion? Sorry. Alderman Patton? Aye. Alderman Bellamy? Aye. Vice Mayor Messick? Aye. Alderman Nichols? Aye. Let's talk about this next two, kind of in light of the comment. They, somewhat the converse is true of what Alderman Nichols asked about earlier. Because these came with a negative recommendation from the Planning Commission, the Planning Commission cannot be interpreted as having initiated an amendment to the jump to the land use plan or physical development plans with the code cost. In order for the board to pass these on second reading, the board has to can initiate an amendment to the physical development plan. But if the board initiates the amendment, it sends it back to the planning commission. So we can proceed two ways here. We can go ahead, I've, I've got a resolution essentially by this board initiating an amendment to the land use plan to allow these two parcels to be rezoned R3. But it requires that to, if this board initiates that, it has to refer it to the planning commission who has 61 days to consider it. Now, kind of as, as Alderman Nichols and I discussed earlier, you can pass this on first reading because it doesn't really make any decision, these two ordinances, but if it, but then when it, you can't pass them on second reading until you come back, until the planning commission takes it 61 days if it takes that long, and then, and then brings it back. So we don't really shorten things on that. Now, that that's the board's pleasure if you want to consider the next two to rezone them, and then, but if you don't refer it to the, I don't refer it to the back to the planning commission to consider an amendment to the fiscal development plan, then you can't pass them on second reading. So it's, it's from an administrative standpoint, or um, it's whatever the board's pleasure is. If you want me to read this resolution about sending it back, you can say, no, we don't want to make the change, then we'll just go on to age. Uh, so kind of whatever the board's pleasure is on that. And, I've been through some pretty technical stuff about this long. I'll be happy to answer any questions or explain.
expound on it as anybody would like me to do? I'm about 32% with you right now. Okay. But, so what do you recommend? Yeah, you keep going the way we've been going. Where are we, where are we right now? You can go ahead and, and I'll read these for first reading, but you cannot even consider them for second reading until you refer it back to the Planning Commission and then they report on the amendment to the fiscal development plan. And then it's second reading? It will be second reading. I'll make a motion. Okay, to approve F then is the first reading of an the first reading of an ordinance to amend the zoning ordinance to rezone Taylor property owned by Jesus Martinez uh, on West Taylor Street be rezoned to R4 residential. Correct. Okay. So I'll second that. Please. It is moved and seconded that the, 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 it is as presented as read and L. Yes, ma'am. Is there any discussion? I would like to say, as a concerned citizen that lives about two blocks from that, we would appreciate any kind of new development over there. The new house would spruce that area up quite a bit. Can't hurt. And, and this is what came out of uh, planning and zoning with 3-3 uh, three, three with uh, uh, attorney Mark breaking the time. Mm -hmm. Correct? Correct. Okay. Any more discussion on this? <clears throat> I'll roll, please. Alderman Patton? Alderman Bellamy? Aye. Vice Mayor Messick? Aye. Alderman Nichols? Aye. And the, the next ordinance is the same. It rezones in R4 residential from R3. This is an adjoining track that goes down Wood Street, which is adjoins it on, what would you say, Alderman Messick, from north, east, or east side? It's a contiguous <coughs> piece of G. The property in G is a contiguous piece of property. It's on Wood Street behind us. Alderman Messick. <laughs> it has been moved and, and seconded and the motion is presented. Or is there any discussion on this? Call roll, please. Alderman Patton? Aye. Alderman Bellamy? Aye. Vice Mayor Messick? Aye. Alderman Nichols? And then, Mayor, I have two resolutions referring to the amendment of the Physical Development Plan back to the Planning Commission for consideration in accordance with 134202 that I've prepared. Does the board want to take those up now? Because we can't move forward until it goes back to the planning commission. Can we do those together? Uh, yes. Say according to your no one at a time. I'll take the first one. They're identical except for the property. One's Blue Street, one's. But according to this thing we got right here from uh, a good, uh, good reminder, I think I was going to do one of them right now. I'll make the motion on the first one. Do we hear a second? Second. Okay. It is moved and seconded and the motion is is presented. Is there any discussion? And I, pre I, I will say, I appreciate you calling that to our attention, the <coughs> resolutions and ordinances. Well, I appreciate they, you saying that. Yes. Uh, they came in, in, in pass. In and it, well, through in pass. And uh, yeah, so we used that last time. The, the fact that well, we, but we're not going to do it again, so we're going to one at a time. We're trying to get. Attorney, you'll <laughs> to to the election night. Now, I, it was me. I think. No, we didn't affect the hospital, but we're just going to do it. We all vote for it. We're glad to get it. <laughs> Any more discussion? If not, call the roll, please. Alderman Patton. Aye. Alderman Bellamy. Aye. Vice Mayor Messick. Aye. Alderman Nichols. Aye. Same as Wood For Wood Street. Yes, yes. Wood Street. Same make, thing. Make a motion. Okay. It is moved and seconded. The motion is pre as presented. Is there any discussion? <coughs> Alderman Patton? Uh, Alderman Bellamy? Uh, Vice Mayor Messick? Uh, Alderman Nichols? Uh, of course, we're in an order to the city of Manchester adopting the budget for fiscal year 2022-2023. Make a motion. Now here's second. Okay. It's moved and seconded. The motion is it presented. No more discussion. Call the roll, please. Alderman Patton. Aye. Alderman Bellamy. Aye. Vice Mayor Messick. Aye. Alderman Nichols. Aye. Okay. 
All righty, uh, any old business? Okay, moving into new business, uh, we had an appointment for the vacancy of uh, uh, David Pennington on the uh, Planning and Zoning Committee, and we had we had three, we had four good candidates. We had uh, the Hills who are here tonight. We thank you. We always appreciate that. Janet Thornton and Alyssa Fletcher, and it is a mayoral appointment. And I put it out there that that uh, Alyssa Fletcher is the one that I've selected. But I do appreciate everyone who always keep keep putting your application in. Thank you. Okay, moving on down, we have a Duck River Utility Commission appointments. We have a one uh, is David Pennington is stepping down from that, and that that is being filled by uh, Nelson Watson, and this is a uh, board decision, and also. Uh, they have recommended that James Wilhelm keeps his appointment. So I guess we can do those together. Okay. <coughs> I make a motion together. One time. We can do that. That's together. If it comes out of the meeting, we can do that. Go. Cool. Okay. It is moved and seconded that we uh, make these appointments. Um, any, any discussion? I'll just say I, I'm always thankful for anyone willing to serve. Hello, please. Alderman Patton? Aye. Alderman Bellamy? Aye. Vice Mayor Messick? Aye. Alderman Nichols? Aye. Okay. And also, um, we have a situation where we had a special call meeting and, and um, it was polled and we're putting on the floor again that that, um, that there will be a transition time that, that uh, Attorney Yule asked that and recommended it and, and I agree that and in the transition, he can kind of acclimate the uh, the one that we're putting on the floor is uh, is uh, Judge Johnson, and I guess we've already discussed that. But you could always change your mind. Do, do I hear a motion that Second. that we're that we're, uh, we're asking that Attorney Yule and and uh, Judge Johnson work together until he leaves us. And also that Craig Johnson, attorney, or Judge Johnson be appointed as, as the new city attorney. Okay. It is moved and seconded. The motion is as presented. Any more discussion other than to say we hate to see leaders, but we were certainly honored to get Judge Johnson Johnson this taking the position. Alderman Patton? Aye. Alderman Bellamy? Aye. Vice Mayor Missick? Aye. Alderman Nichols? Aye. Okay. Also, in the recreation specialist job des description, uh, it is not, it's not, you want to, well, you, you sure. go ahead, Missy. <coughs> She's our assistant director. Good evening. Uh, we have uh, our night and weekend supervisor position, and we're having a hard time filling it. We may actually be filming it in the next week or two, but people just really weren't interested in the position the way it was worded, so we created an alternative job description in case we could fill the third, that night weekend, I don't know I'm saying third, that night weekend position, uh, which would transition it to a recreation specialist, which would help us in other areas such as clerical, the wellness area, lifeguarding, assisting with events, and programming. Um, so we put this forward as a basically as a backup job description. It's not a new position. We just if we can't fill that night weekend supervisor, because quite frankly, people are like all nights and weekends. Um, so this would be the alternative to filling that position, so that we can still have that eight full time person to help us with all of our overall duties in the Does anybody have any questions for me about the job description or why? I trust you got it correct. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Do you have a motion on that? Yes, please. Second. It's moved and seconded. The motion is presented. Any discussion on this? Alderman Patton? Aye. Alderman Bellamy? Aye. Boss Mayor Messick? Aye. Alderman Nichols? 
I'm from Florida. <coughs> okay. Bob, do you have any comments? No, ma'am. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, the salary. <laughs> I am sorry. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget. You don't say your It's in the budget. Yes. I'll make a motion on the overlook. Uh, <laughs> I, I cannot believe that you didn't jump up and say, what about me? <laughs> I would never do that. Second, I heard second over there. Okay, he's moving. Second, the motion is as presented. Any discussion? Alderman Patton? Aye. Alderman Bellamy? Aye. Cross Mayor Messick? Aye. Alderman Nichols? Aye. Now we move right along. Why do you have anything to say? Hey, I just want to say we, we passed the budget last night. It was very reasonable and sensible. And most of the departments got what they asked for. And, and I'm just going to tell you the department heads. You made it possible because we've got suffered through the last couple of years and y'all have sacrificed and I just want to say thank you for your sacrifices and for doing such a good job running the department that you've had to run on as little as you've had to run. Hopefully times will get better as we go on and we won't have to worry about that again. Thank you, Ryan. So, yeah, the, uh, the, the, let's say I wanted to make a thing where the Alderman didn't get health insurance provided. How would I do that? Just make a motion. Make a motion to thank you. I'll make that. Somebody can make that like grammatically correct. Is that I just say like that? Make them sound. Yeah, the, yeah. The uh, state statute it just says that you all have to approve it, and so you just disapprove. I like it. It, by, that. it does not have to be by ordinance or anything. But you yeah, just I like make a motion to disapprove uh, health insurance for. Actually, I think the city judge attorney. Well, that's the way it currently is. That's what I call that. Uh, you don't have to interrupt, and, and uh, Judge Johnson says he doesn't. I don't, well, it doesn't matter about any particular person. I don't care. No, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's, saying, terrible. Terrible. Nobody's doing it. it's a good time, and it's a, it's a extra. I don't know how we do extra stuff. The, the charter. Oh, yeah. If, well, yeah. I'm oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, the, the charter requires any increase in pay be approved so many days before an election, but it does not require a decrease. This is, there's a question about whether this is even pay at all, but it's, it does not run afoul, it does not run afoul, so you can just make a motion to cease providing insurance to the board members and city attorney and city judge. You remember that thing where it was, where it was, we were doing, everybody was getting money instead of that the definitely compensation. But so, uh, my thing about this is not that the city pays for health insurance, but it, like if we don't pay aldermen enough to go buy health insurance, we need to increase the alderman money. Like it's, there are too many little leakages of money that sooner or later get hard to keep track of. So we need to increase the alderman to pay by fifty dollars a month. I don't mind doing that, a hundred, whatever. I mean, if that's something we need to do. But but just keep leaking out little things here and there. Get all my money. And that's this is the largest one. So I'd like to. Make a motion that we well, have I'll make a motion. Don't longer provide that. Okay. Now, you're second on that. Second. Okay, it's been, it, it's been moved and seconded. The motion is as, as presented. Are there any discussion? Did y'all sidebar? Any discussion? If not, Paul Roll, please. Carmen Patton. <clears throat> Nobody's doing it now. Oh, and if anybody's doing it now, I don't want to take it away from them. They're not. They're not. But yeah, it's not a thing about anybody. They're not now. It's not a thing about anybody. It's a, it's a thing of, I'm sorry. Well, Discussion's you, over. But, oh, no, my bad. It's already said it. Okay. All right. Um, or that is. Or Pat. Armin Bellamy. Yes, that's taking them, that's doing away with it. Yeah. Yes. Vice Mayor Messick? Aye. Uh, Alderman Nichols? Okay. Any more comments from you? <laughs> Comment here is nice. No, I mean, anyway. No, it's just the thing about it. No, it's just the thing about it. No, it's just the thing about it. No, it's just the I think that's I was, I was being nice. No, I'm good. I'm good. Thank you for the opportunity. I know you had mentioned something earlier that maybe 
What point I mentioned? Did you ask a question? I don't know if you. But how you understand? Well, I asked a question, but I asked it. Okay. Remind me. Never mind. Hey, I'm going to forget it. Okay, do I hear a, hear a motion to adjourn? So Do I hear a second? You skipped over a new, bis a new business item, country lane. I just it's not on there. It's not on there. It was taken off? Okay, I'm no, sorry. I just, I, it was I just wanted to be sure we didn't skip over it. Sorry. Okay. All those in favor of adjournments? Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs>